how they found Jaeger sitting at his desk dead, just like that. It makes you think. I know, I thought that I had a dangerous job, but here he's sitting at a desk. That's a dangerous job. Well, no, no, that's not, that's not it. It's how an everyday workaday guy like Jaeger uh, could have an enemy mad enough to kill him. I mean, I don't even know who'd want to kill that guy. He sat at a desk all day long. I can't think of any reason why someone would want to do that. <laughs> I can think of a few reasons. Oh, okay. Everybody reads that their paper. His opinions become the town's opinions. And how about that Harvey White? He was stomping around town mad for weeks that Andy was trying to print some false accusations that White and his best friend, I.L. Sprecher, got into some argument about some water runoff from the roof from the adjoining buildings. You don't believe that a newspaper man has that much influence over people, do you? Influence and power. Now, just between you and me, he was always sneaking around here trying to dig up information on this place. And then he'd go and print some accusations. I think he was trying to get me arrested for running this here speakeasy. Well, speakeasies are illegal. Woo! Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo! Technically speaking, but hey, who in town doesn't come in here? Heck, even Jaeger himself came in here last night. Mm -hmm. Yep. The jerk has some nerve to print all that stuff in the paper about me. He comes in here trying to get a drink. He, Jaeger, came in here to wet his whistle. What, what, what did he say to you? Not much. Just thanks for his drink. Believe that. That's an interesting bit of information. What, that Jaeger was trying to shut him down? Yeah, well, then he came in here, and you see how riled up he got our bartender. It makes, makes you kind of wonder. You don't think he did it, do you? you? I mean, you heard what he said about Harvey White. Maybe he did it. He's just talking white to divert attention from himself. Move the spotlight on somebody else. Oh. Hey, hey, here's Sprecher. Hey, Mr. Sprecher, oh, how you doing? God. What's got you all shook up? Elias, give me some of your best hooch right now. Go buy me some too. Yeah. Buy Woo. everybody some. I want the good hooch stuff. Hooch for everybody. Hooch for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't be such you? a wet blanket. That's five cents. Fuck. There you go. I don't care. You take what you get and you like it. <laughs> to Arthur Jaeger. What a great guy. Jaeger. He doesn't have that much in. <coughs> oh, that was good. That was really good. It's top shelf. I'm telling you guys, I, I, I know. I know who killed Jaeger. Wait, I you, know. you do? Oh, yeah. You do. I don't even want to say it. It's my, it's my friend Harvey. It has to be Harvey. I saw him just the other day, running, making a beeline to Arthur's office. He was so mad. He was so angry. He had fire coming out of his eyes. You know, that whole article, the whole thing about the water runoff from my building to his, going to oh, yeah. destroy his business. You know how he is about his business. Nothing is more important. Arthur was so mad. I'm sorry, I mean, Harvey was so mad at Arthur. He would have killed him. I know he would have killed him. Absolutely. I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Yeah. Mm. So we've had another scene, another spill.